can't hear anything. That's no good. Hold on, yo. sold for technical difficulties. Okay, so you are working. I just don't know why. Oh dear, that was the wrong thing to click. There we go. <laughs> Holy crap. How about, how about that? Is that gonna... No, that's not gonna work. This is what always happens when I'm feeling good. Is that gonna? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. That does sound awful. You know, for like one time, I would just like my sound not to break. Well, welcome everybody to... Dumbest streams ever. Because I can't figure out my friggin' sound. Let me Okay. Don't know why you're going snap crackle pop in my ears there. But let's see. Is that, is that really all that was? Hold on. Y'all can hear that, can't you? Oh, wait, no. No, apparently I killed it again. <sighs> wow, 
I see a follow and I see a subscription there from Batbrain. Thank you, brother. Well, I would understand after the past five minutes if you'd want to take that subscription back because apparently I have no freaking idea what I'm doing. Okay. Let's do this. And Mitchell's here. That's cool. What's up, Mitchell? Just, uh... You know me, man, just screwing shit up. No, that's not it. Why would I expect anybody to hear this game? Y'all can hear this? Why can't I? Are you serious? I can hear it. Oh dear god, I hate myself sometimes. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Gotta that. That. And we are officially ready to begin yet another episode of The Video Game Therapist. My apologies for the technical interruption, but seeing as this is an educational stream, y'all can uh, hopefully get some education from uh, me being, you know, stupid. Kind of loud now. Is it you? No, it's not you. Is that better? I just need one more thumbs up to let me know that it is actually better. Yes, it is perfect. All right, let's do this. the Sam Hill are we going? Um, that seems cool. Have we been here yet? I don't know. It's been like 18,000 years since I played this game. But thank you again to Batbrain for the subscription. Thank you to Hoss for the follow. I may not be a professional, but I do know. Uh, I was here before. I've been here before. That that's a thing. That's a thing that's going on. Cause there's a yeah, there you are. And I sucked you dry of all your metal. So let's forget about you for now. Actually I just gotta do one last thing. I gotta scroll up here just to keep an eye on my voice waveforms. Don't wanna peek myself like I did last time. So actually it would probably be helpful to know where in the same hill we're going. We found a confidential transmission while on Pharos. It's unclear exactly what's going on, but it appears Exogeny sent some kind of sample to a research facility on Nodacrux. Vostok System Maroon Sea Cluster. Okay. Let's do this. How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, let's run it down. Me, I've been doing good. I've been, uh... 
Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. Okay. No message, just a locator signal. I'm eating keto ice cream. It's actually good, so love that for me. Really? Okay, we gotta take you. We gotta take you because... We're down to our last two trophies, if I believe correctly, before the Platinum is here. We're still going to accomplish everything there is to accomplish in this game, just so we get a full picture of the Paragon versus Renegade playthrough. But it sure it sure is shooting will help. Okay, AI hacking, and neural shock, twenty five times, and that's the platinum. Cool. Sure is shooting will help, but then I don't have to uh, constantly keep track of that. Oh wait, there are enemies afoot. Tell me about your keto ice cream, though. Are we talking, like, chocolate? Raspberry? I know. Raspberry probably has too many calories. You want, you want to know something I just found out about raspberries? And, like, by all rights, I should have known this. But I just didn't. Oh, God, I even forgot how to use the powers. Where is... There it is. Y'all are pretty foolhardy there. Chocolate chip, let's go. Right away. What happens if I let you touch the car? You're just gonna vaporize instantly? No. No, your models will just freak out. That's beautiful. All right. Oh, I'm going back. Oh, I'm going forward. Oh, I'm going back. Oh, I'm going forward. Wrong window. I right, now let's hang out in here. Give him a second to regenerate. I do want to get these achievements as fast as I can so I can just focus on playing through the story. Four gram net carbs for the whole pint, but it's high in fat, which I think is the point. It's very loud when I shoot my gun. Let's see what you're talking about here. Hmm. I didn't see any big waveforms there. Uh, I think I might know what the issue is. Uh, nanners. Oh, wait, no, you're still alive. Cool. Yeah, I did. I did shoot my gun. I was just trying to see on what system exactly, or uh, what audio line it was exactly that was causing the issues. Is it because you deleted the game and it reset your sound effects sound level? No, I'm I'm looking at it right now. It's even cut by 23 and a half decibels. Now, is it everything loud or is it just the shooting that's loud? Heading to position. Let's go. Possibility. You could be right there. Uh, 
let's take a look. Oopsie. That's not what I meant to hit. I believe I cut it by 30%. Let me know how that's working out for you. Hi, Biff. But all the other guns sound fine, so I don't know why your gun specifically is so loud. I don't know. Really couldn't tell you. Also, this Final Fantasy hard mode playthrough will be the death of me. I saw the very beginning of your text there. Like, is it a uh, boss only difficulty thing or is it a uh, everything's difficult thing? Because I've had those games before, definitely, where um, you try to like do a hard playthrough. And the majority of the game you can get through just fine, but the bosses for some reason are cranked up to like 11 billion. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Come on. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Just gently down the mountaintop. I, I said gently. I said gent. Do you not understand the meaning of gently? Made even more difficult to where you aren't allowed to use items. Not even just in battle, you can't use items, period. So if I want to heal, I need to use a spell. But I'm out of mana. Well, shit, out of luck. How do you get more mana? Is that just like a time regeneration thing? I know nothing about Final Fantasy. How are we doing on that? Uh... Okay, so two more light metals, three more rare earth metals. Uh, I don't know about that. Don't know about that. Good lord. I'm all the way over here. Well, this is going to be annoying to get out of. Especially since the only way through apparently is not even in the direction that I'm trying to go. Whoop de doo. For me. Okay, no. Hold on, I'm sorry. If I'm I'm gonna be fixing sound, I gotta fix light too. Why is this not working? Y'all see that, right? Like Okay, wow. For for the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, I have made history. The very first thing I tried actually fixed it. As they say in Romania. Let's freaking go. I don't know why I have energy tonight. I, uh... Huh. I don't know. I feel good about today, though. I mean, pretty good day. Trying to do, uh... Do some stuff for the, uh... Steam Dragons. Maybe at this point it'll actually make just more sense to, like, make my way up.
You look literally exactly the same. No, it wasn't me. It was the um, the fact that you could see my green screen on the uh, bottom left corner of your screen. I fixed it now, but you could uh, see the actual screen instead of seeing, you know, nothing. But you couldn't. Well, I could, and it was bothering me, and I fixed it, so now I feel better, so shut up. I'm sorry, that's mean. I guess I got a lot of, got a lot of energy. Feeling good about the team, of course. Steam Dragons. Oh, you will notice in the title of the stream today, there is a brand new command. Probably something I should have done ages ago, but... Drop that exclamation point team merch. You want to hit up that link to the Steam Dragons merch store. Go, uh, go on, check it out. I gotta I got say, right now, my personal favorite item from that store is actually our eSports jersey, which you could see me wearing on Saturday of PA Steam Fest. Have I looked at any of the Gamescom stuff? No, that would make me a responsible streamer. Was I responsible? That's adorable. No, I didn't. I, uh, I probably will, though. Maybe tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow's kind of a, a shorter day. There you are. Why did you see anything particularly uh, you lead. I'll exciting in Gamescom? Anything really uh, strike your fancy? The XCOM-inspired Marvel game was officially announced. I don't know. I, I have my reservations about that one. Part of why I liked XCOM was the fact that it was XCOM. But free guys getting good reviews? Ladies and gentlemen, do my ears deceive me. Is that actually a video game movie that's getting positive reviews? Can Ryan Reynolds do any wrong of course he can't the answer is no he's the face of a greek god get out of here oh see you later hey oh bye bye spraying him down with lead always a fun time. Actually, before I try to pinpoint maneuver and then like lose my way down the uh, down the ravine here, me uh. No, I'm going to have to lose my way down the ravine. Or actually, can I see him from here? Ah, yes I can. Oh. Well, you guys can tell what I've been playing recently because I thought I just reloaded my gun. XCOM is just Fire Emblem. It's not even original. Uh, shut up. I've never played Fire Emblem, so XCOM is the best. Green Lantern is right there. Where? 
God, you scared me. I thought he was in my room. You know, say what you want about the Green Lantern movie, but it has one of my favorite lines of dialogue ever in a superhero movie. You guys ready for this? In the movie, we're of course talking about the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern here, just in case anybody's not following. In the movie, there's a point in which he... Um, He first uh, reveals himself and his superpowers to his uh, leading lady, uh, who actually wound up marrying him years later. I believe I read something that that's where they actually like started dating. But uh, he he's in you know Green Lantern form and he's got like the uh, face visor on, and he's there and it's this very you know dramatic intense scene. And and she looks at him and she kind of, you know, she kind of cocks her head and she knows who it is. She just looks at him like, Hal? Because Green Lantern's name is Hal Jordan. Is it Hal? And he's astonished that he has, um, that she knows who he is. And she looks at him and she gets this real frustrated look on her face. And she says, Hal, we've been friends since we were children. You're not going to hide from me just because I can't see your cheekbones. And I always thought that was such a good line. But... Maybe that's just me, I don't know. I, I thought it was hilarious. So Halo Infinite release date Saints Row Reboot. So it is a reboot. I was wondering if it was a new game. Forbidden West release date. I know you sent that to me. Thank you for that. Dying Light 2 gameplay trailer. Hype for that. Amongst other things. Okay. I know it is definitely something I have to, uh, have to take a look at. But of course without wanting to get uh, DMCA'd up the butthole. Gonna have to wait on that. Until I can do it in my own time. Amethyst Pixie's here. What is up? Hi. Hello. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Amethyst Pixie. Our newest Steam Dragons team member. Has graced us with her presence today and as soon as i'm done as soon as i'm done pilfering stuff sludge canister oh heck yeah give me all that sludge do you know what happens to a toad when it gets struck by lightning the same thing that happens to everything else it's a better quote from a superhero movie and is my favorite movie quote of all time unironically Everybody can take a second in the chat and guess what that is. I'm going to step away for just a hot minute here. Back at it again soon. Just going to give the uh, shout out. Oh, wait. It would help if I was typing. Just going to give the shout out love here to Amethyst Pixie, our newest Steam Dragons team member. Go give her all the love and support you can. And I will be back in just a few minutes. And we're back. Am I back? Is my voice going? There it is. Okay. That's going. And that's going. Okay. So I'm seeing in the chat here as well that Amethyst Pixie is going through the Tales of Borderlands, the pre sequel, and all of the Borderlands games. Is anyone ever really back? No. No, they're not. Uh, Amethyst Pixie, what? Oh, thank God. Uh oh. See, I told you somebody would come to investigate that city. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. Okay. I've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Not so fast. First, you're going to tell me why this place is overrun with Thorian creepers. 
How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. What did you expect? You couldn't really believe those things were safe. We knew there were risks, but I thought we'd taken all the necessary precautions. I didn't mean for this to happen. Oh, you didn't mean to. I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? Too many people died here. Their blood is on your hands. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does That's it not a good defense. In jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. My mic and the game are loud now? Honestly, Mitchell, at this point, I might just tell you to turn the volume down because I don't know what's going on. I didn't change anything that drastic. This isn't about money. It's about justice. Blood for blood. Whoa. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire. Change mic to audio, but you know what I mean? There's, there's no other way for me to correct the echo and make things. I mean... Cause I I don't want to crank it down any lower than that. I mean, was that better? Now, Amethyst Pixie, what uh, what platform will you be playing the Borderlands games on? I'm not hearing it for what it's worth. That doesn't mean anything definitive. No, 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 please. That, um, all the, uh, corollary information that I can get is always helpful. So, what every single one of you is hearing is just as valuable to me as, uh, what somebody else is hearing. Uh. PC mostly I tried playing on PS4 but I can't do controller aim fair enough fair enough I would tell you to I would tell you that we could play together but PC just happens to be the one place that I don't own any of those games yo yeah. Oh, that did not help. No, we're okay. I really thought I was going to scratch my ride here. But you, mouse and keyboard. Out. Well, I do hope you have all sorts of fun with Borderlands. I didn't know they were available on Switch, so no. No, I do not. Oh. 
Oh god, is this that one, uh, single shot? Oh, I guess it's not. Uh, oh. We got all the nice stuff here. Except armor. My armor all blows. I'm just doing a quick check here. Go all the way back up here. Does that okay? Let's do that more than open a group up on PS4. I will just be bad. Mitchell, do you want to uh, hop in here and tell Amethyst Pixie just how bad I am at games? And ain't no good at games. Yeah, we can be bad at games together and have fun. I would be thrilled. Absolutely thrilled to do that. I'm already working on a collaboration uh, to be announced at a later date with another creator, and I would love to get you on my schedule as well. Let me tell you guys, Amethyst Pixie uh, did show up to Steam Fest, and may I just say, was one of the most pleasant people I have ever had the honor of working with. You never want to collab with me, Paint? Uh, excuse me, sir. The last stream I did was Warzone. Did I offer you a spot? Yes. What was your response? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in my too cool for war zone phase right now. Get that crap out of here. Okay, everybody has cooler toys. Do all the killing, all the faster. Uh, let's... Oh, I handle our business over here. Why it always got to be Warzone? Why not speedrunning solitaire? You got to let go of the speedrunning solitaire thing. Just let it go, man. Oh, no. No, 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 no. God, I hate driving this thing. And all the way back. Down I go. Oh, you hear that, everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, you can hear Mitchell furiously typing, Drive better. Stop sucking, see? Am I right or am I right? I'm gonna say, don't you freaking dare. And of course, one of the things I feel like I, uh, I need to remind people about is, um, Mitchell and I are actually, actually very old friends from, uh, well over a decade now. So 
some uh, quieter years when I was in college, but uh, the power of friendship and Mitchell Mitchell being just a uh, phenomenal human being, we were able to pick up right where we left off after I went off to Columbus to go to Ohio State. So when you see him uh, being mean to me in the chat, does he mean it? Yes. But is he actually trying to, you know, hurt my feelings and get me to stop streaming? No. Alrighty. Can I get off this freaking planet now? Yes. Okay. I have mod sword. I can do literally whatever I want to those rules. I mean, I mean you could, but I don't, I don't know why you'd want to. Back to my story, though. Amethyst Pixie, what a phenomenal human being showing up at Steam Fest in the midst of all the craziness and hecticness. Just uh, jumped right on in with all of us at uh, the Geek Grid Studios and just said, yeah, I'll volunteer. Yeah, I'll help out. Yeah, I'll sit at the... Uh, I'll sit at your check-in table. Yeah, I'll... Uh, I'll do this, that, and the other thing. Lust for power? Well, that sounds like a personal problem. Message coming in. Patching it through. Uh oh. I have a difficult assignment, Commander. You're the only one I can trust to get it done. Oh, good There's lord. There's a leader named Darius in the Skillian Verge who controls most of the raider activity. I'd like you to negotiate a ceasefire with him. You're kidding. Admiral, I'm the last person who should be negotiating a ceasefire. At least I'm self-aware. exactly why I chose you, Commander. Darius is a warrior. He wouldn't take an alliance negotiator seriously. But with your very public achievements, you represent a strong image that Darius has to respect. Show him that the Alliance won't back down. Show him he better make peace while he can. I still think this is a mistake, Admiral. You're not under my command, but we need you for this job. You're the only one that could get it done right. The meeting will take place on a remote barren planet. I'm transmitting the coordinates now. I'm also transmitting the background for this negotiation. Fifth Fleet out. Is it just me, or does... Or do you guys not remember this quest? I remember this planet, but I don't remember this quest line for some reason. Ladies and gentlemen, have we come across something that you can only do while you're a renegade? Let's find out. But also, this game is a blur to me. Yeah. I've not played this, so... Don't remember any of it? That's okay. We're gonna hang out with uh, Mitchell's boy toy for the rest of the game, even though we don't technically need him anymore for that whole neural shock achievement. I've been here. Tragic outfit. You know one of the things I will enjoy the most about finally moving on to Mass Effect 2? Won't have to drive this freaking car anymore. I hate the Mako and I want it to die alone in a hole. And it thinks its family is coming. It thinks that they're all going to be there to be with it in its final moments. But no, nobody shows up. Dies alone on its deathbed. And we set it on fire. Did it want to be set on fire? No, but we need to set it on fire because this thing sucks. 
Echo was my nickname in high school. This feels like a personal attack. <laughs> this isn't even a right system. I don't think I'm in the Hades Gamma Cluster. But I remember looking at in the Paragon place. <sighs> See, I remember looking in the Paragon playthrough at all the possible quests that we could do. And I remember seeing this. So why is this unfamiliar to me? Hmm. See, I don't remember the Plutus system either. It's also still so hot, want to die. Don't do that. Don't, don't do the death. I'm not typically a fan of doing this, but I think I am going to uh, do some uh, research here. Okay, I have resurrection stones. I just won't use them until October. Are resurrection stones vegan? Asking for a friend. No, lady. Oh, wait. I remember looking through the list. There were some quests that I couldn't do unless I was um, Renegade. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new quest in front of us. Not a fan of doing this, says the person who literally played an entire game by looking up the solution to every puzzle. Well, listen, I don't like doing it because you always give me flack about it. Huh? Let's check this out. BRB need anti-headache drugs? Oh, I'm sorry. Please take all the time you need. Wow. This really is a pretty barren planet. What's this up here? Oh, goody. Bodies. Judging by the footprints in the ash, the two murder snakes were facing each other over the crate when they died. Both suffered single gunshot wounds. And have a 
rifle close beside them. Oh, it's the Matrix writings. That's cool. I believe that ends the Matrix writing quest. To gather up all those. Take a look. Yeah, it does. We just need two more medals as well. Oh, I meant to tell you guys, I've been, um, been playing a new game. My spare time. I've been playing a new game. You all ready for this? Mitchell might know because I've been, uh, kind of binging at the past, like, day or so. I don't know how often you look at the uh, stat for what is it I'm playing, but, uh, anybody know? You're back? Okay, I'm with this pixie. You can, uh, join in the fun, too. Take a guess. What new game have I been playing? I saw you were playing a free-to-play mul multiplayer shooter. Are you, like, trying to hide it, or can you not remember what it was? Because either way, it's fine. Can't remember the name. I mean, you're not wrong. It, it is a free-to-play multiplayer shooter. Amethyst Pixie gets the bonus points, though. Yes. I was playing Split Gate. I gotta say, I think all the hours that I've been playing Call of Duty actually helped me with Split Gate. You just installed it? It's not bad. I wish I were a little bit better at it. There are games where I do phenomenally well. And there are games where I'm absolute garbage. With no real consistency. Between the two uh, opposites there. Which kind of sucks, but... And it honestly is about 50-50. Um, it really is about, you know, 50% of the time doing well, 50% of the time, you know, trash. So. Garbage of Valorant? I've never tried. Never, never tried. Lord Darius, oh God. I the Alliance would take this meeting seriously. Instead, they insult me by sending a military grunt to show me how tough they are. Your file says you couldn't even save the rest of your unit on a coos. You got everyone killed. I'm not here to put up with your crap, Darius. Shall we talk or should I just shoot you now? You can't speak to me that way. You and your Alliance owe me, Shepard. You see this gun? This is your gun. Your military set me up here, and now it wants to pretend it doesn't know me. But I know the truth. The Alliance needed me here, so treat me with the respect I deserve. You said we set you up. Did the Alliance give you weapons? After the Batarians were driven out of the Verds, the Alliance wanted to stabilize the region. Okay. I the strongest syndicate in the area. They gave me the weapons and money I needed to take over. Oh, lordy. So do not pretend we are so different, soldier. I deserve your alliance's gratitude, not these attacks. Someone once said that diplomacy comes from the barrel of a gun. Well then. Just abandon my team here real quick. Wait, that's one of mine. Hold on. Oh, Tally's down. Alright, that's okay. We can do this.
We killed the big guy. And there's nobody I can really hack here, so I don't actually care too much that Tally's down. A uh, funny story here going on. The Alliance set this guy up to stabilize the region after we kicked the Batarians out. The Batarians were a group of terrorists. We used to be in charge of the... In charge of the region. Kind of reminds me of something similar between uh, the United States and... Uh, Iran? Or Afghanistan? Trying to keep the commies back during the Cold War. Oopsie. Let's see what we can pilfer in here. Not much. You know, Darius, for such a cool guy, your place kind of blows. It's like nothing here. Any day that ends with one less crackpot self-proclaimed lord out on the frontier is a good one. You've earned your pay today. Millions to, for defense, not one cent for tribute. Isn't that a military quote? That thanks was so curt from her. <laughs> like, I know you just went around and killed everybody while I was gone. Thanks. Yeah, all right, Tally. Sorry. Just wanted you to take a rest. Take a little nap. A little... A little sleep sleep. But I guess that was wrong. You want a nap? No napping for you. Supposed to be watching me. Pumping up my ego. But you're bad. You hush your mouth. I will not take such blasphemy. There's no napping in baseball. You tell him, Pixie. Oh, could I literally not get out until I got up here? That's kind of funny. I was just going up here to, you know, pilfer everything I could get my hands on. Alrighty, though. So we're going to have to go back to Admiral Hackett and say, uh, whoops, sorry, bro. What? And why is it called the Field of Dreams? <laughs> Hallucinogenic drugs. Message coming in. Patching it through. Uh oh. We're sorry that you were unable to negotiate with Darius peacefully. His death is regrettable. Nevertheless, the resulting chaos will create a power vacuum that makes future raids upon our miners unlikely. You put Darius in power, but he was getting greedy. You wanted me to kill him. The Alliance does not condone assassination. We would never give that order. Killing Darius was your decision alone. And because you're a Spectre, we couldn't reprimand you if we wanted to. Thank you for your assistance in this matter, Commander. Fifth lead out. He sounds like he's about to quit his job. <laughs> Y'all see how that went down there, right? Oh, oh, we, we could never condone this. Manipulation of the highest order. A 
Which I can't wait for you to see the system for uh, gathering resources in Mass Effect 2. But for right now, let's get on to Novaria. Because I think you're going to hate it even more than the system like that this involves now. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted. Normandy. I hate a lot of things. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Alright, on to the mission where I always get lost no matter how many times I play it. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Wow, it's almost like I set you up for that joke, Mitchell. That's far enough. I'm on important business. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. No. All you need to know is I have more credentials than you. Ooh. It's to be trouble, man. I can't let you enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. We can let them do this, Commander. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Up the rest of your life, you won't be such a jerk. Ha! <laughs> Got him. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Yeah, real Someone friendly. Pissed in your security chief's coffee today? That's a fair she question. She takes her job seriously. She is a valuable asset. You're a child. One of my duties is I am a child. Arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Saren's right hand? She's here? She's a threat to galactic peace. I'm here to bring her in or put her down. The board doesn't like having outside problems dumped in its lap, Commander. Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Commander, maybe we should tell Liara that her mother's here, or bring her along. She can reason with Benezia. Nah. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety, and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. 
Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. Okay. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. Sounds like my kind of arrangement. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeus. That one would levy fees. Can't have that. Is there anything else this one might help you with? Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Don't need any of that crap. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Of course. This one apologizes. Mm. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Of course. This one. I'm gonna go back to my room, BRB. Okay. How's everybody else's day today? I was talking about my day. I mean, Splitgate. How's everybody else's day going? Oh boy, I am tired. Ugh. I mean, gotta become a smuggler for Opal now. Long. Tired and pretty much just worked. Yeah, I feel that. Got a meeting tomorrow. I, I may or may not have screwed up part of the uh, billing system at my new job. I'm meeting with one of the directors to see just how, uh, just how badly I screwed things up. So now here on the renegade, well, back on the Paragon playthrough, of course, smuggling is a crime. We're not going to let Opal get away with that here. However, smuggling, smuggling is as smuggling does. Where are you working, Pixie, if you don't mind my asking? You can just be general, like work retail, work uh, you know, shaving cats. That sounds like a horrible job, by the way. If anybody does happen to be a cat shaver. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Change of plans. I've decided to keep it myself. You cannot do that. Inamorda will be furious with this one. This one wants the other to leave now. Principal software engineer at a mobile media marketing firm in Chicago. Do da do da. <laughs> now that sounds awesome. I remember you saying you had a had a background in uh, software engineering. Mesh keyboard, make internet go beep boop. Excuse me, I need a moment of 
Ah, oh, yes, another thing I declined on my Paragon playthrough. I need you to speak with him. Whatever you need done, ask someone else. I'm busy. My mistake, obviously. Have you changed your mind? Would you speak to Vargas for me? Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What's your interest in binary helix? They do genetics work. Much of VH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in a sorry biotic. I saw him potty, but I'm back. Did you have a good potty? Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to a sorry copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement program. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. I love hacking. Here's the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. Okay. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. Okay. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. <laughs> I quit. I'll go see him now. I hope you do too. So anytime he rubs the back of his neck, I have to press him about whatever we're talking about. Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen H firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. You can maximize the odds with every strand of DNA as you need. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. Mars Gene's clotting enhancement improves speed by 16%. Ah, I see you've done some research. That's their official claim. However, we believe they cherry-picked their sample to show optimum results. The numbers we provide are strict mathematical averages. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. That's the commercial price for individual purchasers. I'm offering you millions of jobs, Mr. Vargas. That's worth more than some stock sensory upgrades. I'll give you a cautious probably. There is a standard discount for bulk orders, but I can't authorize that. I can push it upstairs. I'm sure someone will get back to you on it. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. Why is that? There are development projects in Novaria, some not entirely legal. If they don't get in my face, I'm not going to dig them up. I'm not here for a random spot check. My apologies. I shouldn't have belabored the point. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to the business with you. All right, corporate espionage you achieved. Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. <sighs> More. I call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. That's it. Good day, Specter. Oh my god, that's it? Are you serious right now? <sighs> I 
right now the paragon route too here uh stop being greedy but i'm a renegade don't make me do that renegade TikTok dance. You think I can talk to Analeas at this point, tell him I have Opal's package and use that to get out of here? Because we know based on previous experience that he's not just going to let us out. Ding dong. I'm here to kill you all. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas. Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Apparently one of my teammates was very heavily into Rainbow Six Siege today. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. You have a problem with colonials? No appreciation for economics. Protectionists and communists, all of them. Whoa. Courtesy, I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. And I represent the second guessing of galactic law. Just so we understand each other. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Opold wants me to smuggle a package through security. I need more than your word to act on that. Bring me whatever he's smuggling, and I'll act accordingly. What will you do for me in return? I would compensate you. The precise amount in credits depends on the severity of Opold's crime. Here's the package. Proof enough? I am no weapons expert, but it seems to me that this is a rather advanced device. Certainly contraband. It would have been unfortunate if this had reached its buyer. Very unfortunate. It's not yours yet. Make it worth my time. That is not the response I anticipated from a specter. I may have underestimated you. I am willing to give you 200 credits and a pass to leave Hanshan. Not without an understanding between us, of course. You can only go to Peak 15 to speak to Lady Benezia. If you cause trouble or if the staff asks you to leave, you will be thrown off world. Of course, but I'll keep that mod. It's military hardware. I can't leave it in the hands of a civilian. Uh, oh, uh, of course. If there is nothing else, I would like to go back to work. I'm leaving. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you waited about. Okay, there was only one person here dithering, and that was you, you ditherer. So any fun weekend plans? Um, trying to think. Catching up on Gamescom stuff, probably. That's really gonna be it. I mean, wifey is uh, wifey's working Saturday and Sunday, so nothing really uh, nothing really big and major to go out and do. Although I did want to uh, get a couple of people together to go. Uh, check out um new place I found here in uh, here in my hometown I have authorization excuse me yes that's genuine drive safely the weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Luke's valley uh, yeah I was gonna say I remember correctly is it's clothing optional at the apartment this weekend? I was going to make a joke about it always being clothing optional everywhere I go. But... Hi. 
mean we're friends I could hardly care less if you're naked here I appreciate that where are these things fan out and secure the area no one gets in or out what did you do here commander only what I had to I didn't ask the geth to attack geth you expect me to where did they come from if I were to guess, the matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. We may be seeing a lot more of these things in the coming months. For three centuries, everyone has said the Geth don't come out of the Veil. What is happening out there? The same thing that happens to all species, Captain. Evolution. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose gas, there may be an investor panic. So is this place you found like a restaurant or like an activity? It's an activity. Um, one of the things that uh, I don't know if I actually got a chance to talk to you guys about about uh, Steam Fest was... Um, it was a really fun opportunity that uh, that the team and I had. One of our sponsors was a company called XR Studios down in uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And XR Studios is a fantastic little company that does a lot of work with virtual reality gaming. They do a lot of testing. They do a lot of gameplay itself and they also sort of operate as like kind of a party center if that makes sense like uh well as you can rent out the studios and uh play vr games with your friends type of places so we got a chance to go there and actually play vr and the uh interesting thing here for you guys and for me i should say too what if I said about your head size in VR? Hey, it worked. And they fit it on. No, uh, no big deal. Don't know what to tell you there. Despite your extreme desire to, uh, make fun of my head. Sounds fake, but okay. Well, you can actually come onto the XR Studios Instagram page and actually see me playing VR. There's actually a clip on there. Of course, I look goofy, but... Uh, Everybody looks goofy when they're trying VR. Yeah. Seriously, I will give you the name of the, um, the page. Were you playing Skyrim? No, I, I don't know if it had like an official name or not, but, um, it was a game that basically you were. You look goofy now playing VR. <laughs> you were stuck in a church trying to survive for a set amount of time while um, defending against a bunch of zombies. Now, uh. The whole thing looked really cartoony, but it was really awesome. I gotta be honest. You know, the chance to play VR, and two, it, it wasn't just me. It was actually myself and um, three other teammates were able to play all at the same time. 
which is really s just so very cool. Uh, where I was I a priest? No, but I actually did manage to grab the skin that was a um, looked like a nun. Oh, I'm actually in a bad shape here. Hold on. Just Luke, the idea of roller coaster tycoon VR, but it's already a thing. Not quite how I envisioned it. How exactly did you envision it? One of the things that we did not get to try at XR Studios that they do actually, you know, typically offer was uh, something I thought Luke would uh, really like. It was a um, VR racing simulator, but they actually gave you like a. Um, one of the racing chairs. More like Mario Maker, so build a coaster and you can VR ride it, upload it, and others ride it. Okay, because that's what I would have imagined too. What, What is like actually out there? Have a whole park, so like VR carnival games and such to earn tickets to unlock new things to add to your coaster like a ring of fire. That sounds dope. Why? What? What do they offer right now? Like preset, oh, like preset coasters. I don't know. I mean, I, I gotta be honest here. Like I said, with this being my first experience with VR, it really was fascinating. Um, the headsets that we were using were um, Quest Ones. And at first, I was a little worried about the whole immersion of it. Because if you look, like, straight down, like, if you, like, roll your eyes, like, all the way down, there's a little gap right around the bridge of your nose that you can see out of the... out of the goggles. Sorry, for some reason, my eye just started, like, hurting. Ow. So I was worried about the immersion of it, but once I got focused on the game, it actually like freaked me out. And that's what I mean by that is like there were barricades that you had to repair. And at one point, all these zombies burst through the barricades and they were coming at us and one like launched itself at me. And I actually like my brain treated it like it really was a threat. Like I really backed up and uh 
tried to get away from it. It was absolutely fascinating to me. As someone who's always been interested in the human mind and how it works and all that, uh... All that good stuff. The idea that my brain could perceive those things as real, legitimate threats is, uh... Fascinating. Gives a whole new concept to the idea- ideas behind, like, um... Horror games. What? New roller coaster game coming out. You know what I need? I need a new Thrillville. Hands up in chat to all the homies who remember Thrillville. Don't know what that is, only super vaguely. Oh my god, Thrillville. Oh, that was such a fun game. Y'all can look it up right now. I mean, it was not anything special, like, especially by today's standards. No. Shoot. The PlayStation 2 game that, um, was just so much fun. It, basically, Mitchell, it's exactly what you were just describing. Park Beyond is the name of the new roller coaster game? Okay. It's basically what you were just describing there, Mitchell. Like, to start out with, they gave you a park, and they gave you a, um, Like the very first park, they'd um, like they'd give you a bunch of stuff to start out with, stuff that was like already made. User alert! All Peak 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Um. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. You had to hire janitors, um, mechanics, and cheerleaders that would walk throughout the park, and you had to train them, and training them, each one of them was its own separate, like, mini-game, which was super fun. Um... Sorry, I thought I missed something here. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. You... But you were actually like your own individual person. It wasn't like a third person, like... Omniscient perspective. Like you were actually in like... Well, you were in third person, I think, but you were still, like, you still had your own person that was, like, the owner of the park. And you could go around and, um, you, you could ride all the rides, you could play all the games, and there'd be different quests. Oh my god, it was such a fun game. And you could flirt, too. My horny 12-year-old self just loved that. You could flirt and there were all these sorts of, like, real cheesy pickup lines. And sometimes they'd work and sometimes they wouldn't.
Oh my god, what a game. What a game. The original was definitely better than the sequel, but the sequel, still pretty baller. Your horny 26 year old self would love it too. Uh, no, considering I'm, I'm married, can't say I would. And that's why I love my wife. It's uh, pretty easy to flirt with her because I know her that well. Don't have to guess. There was always that element of guessing in that game. What pickup line is going to work on you? Forgot what these were some ugly mothers. Married people get horny, you know? Yeah, but I mean, in, in an ideal world, you're... You're horny for your spouse. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Level up for the squad. Alright, Intimidate's already leveled up, so that's, that's pretty nice. Let's give everything we have to that. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hi. Oh, excuse me. Whoa. Yeah, I remember why playing through this on insanity sucks. If you, if you also have a work in PlayStation 2, Thrillville and Thrillville off the rails. Oh my god, they're close. Hi. Probably save at this point. Yeah, I forgot I have to fix everything. Not enough power. Well, that sucks. Oh, there we go. Power junction. Now we go back over here. Into the depths of hell. Oh god, I forgot about this. Oh, wait, no, 
Oh shoot, hold on. There it is. It's on Steam. Are you the serious? Are trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? How do I shut this thing up? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Navy. One moment, please. Service record confirmed. Due to the current emergency, you are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. Oh my god, they do have the second one. They don't have the first one, though. That's crazy. For 10 bucks? That's a steal. Really, they don't have the first one. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, son of a gun. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the. Alright, I sleep. You're gonna call it a night. Night, everyone. Night. Good night, Pixie. Thank you. Thank you for uh, stopping by. I won't be going for much longer. I need a status report. What systems are down? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Enjoy the rest of your night. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency. And like I said, everybody go give Pixie some love. Restart required. Give Pixie some of that Ohana love. Connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Gotta say frequently here just Manual because I hate doing this on insanity. User alert. Land now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Human shield. Well, human shield and quarian shield. User alert. Main reactor shut down. Manual restart required. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Esports Life Tycoon, that's a real game. Oh yeah, I have that game. I remember actually buying that. I don't know if I've ever actually played it, but... I played that and I played YouTuber's Life. <laughs> Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Hmm. 
We haven't been down here yet. Andy, I'm officially giving you two weeks notice on this friendship. It's been real, but I think it's time to cut our losses. What? Just... Wait, which one are you upset about? The esports one or the YouTuber's life? Now entering main reactor. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Both? Oh, okay. I like trying different kinds of games. So sue me. Well, shoot. What's wrong with wanting to try different, uh, I guess we have two weeks to fit a lifetime of friendship into? That's really adorable that you think you're getting rid of me. that you think I can't. containment procedures. Manual restart required. Just, let's just wait here for a second. So I don't die. Let's keep it going. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought that was all of you. I think I can hack the...
Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I guess. All right now. One last one. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Ugh. There we go. That's how you take them down. So I bet you anything, if Luke said that he had played those games, you would not give him any crap whatsoever. Am I right? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Alrighty now. I don't know why you think I put him on like a golden throne or some shit. He just doesn't piss me off as much as you. Why? He doesn't make dumb jokes? Because he does. Because he says and does less stupid things. Really? But his dumb jokes are actually funny. Whatever you need to tell yourself at night, brother. Now entering decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. No, you really don't. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? Okay, how do you disagree with him?
Because when you disagree with me in a text message, it's something like, oh my god, you're so stupid. Oh my god, you're such an idiot. Tell me you talk to him the same way. No, 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 no. There are countless ways to tell someone that uh, that you think they're wrong. With me, it always involves some sort of name calling. And if you tell me that you do to, that to Luke too, I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> And please understand, I don't say this because any of this bothers me. But I'm not going to have you deny the truth here in front of me. You do speak to him much nicer than you speak to me. Really? Let me see what text I can find here. playing you're doing a show omg well if you're finding text i gotta find text besides we're actually calling the show here I'm gonna wrap it up for today you know what i will say is that um in recent weeks you have been a lot nicer in how you've been talking to me i will say that Nope, absolutely. Fuck that. You're providing a service. Don't do it for free. That's just bullshit. People in power like to say, just for not paying artists, I'll pay you an exposure. Now you'll pay me in cash or you don't get the service, beginner or not. You don't start working at any job for free. Internship should never be unpaid. It's just a way for corporations to save money while increasing labor. So don't pay your artists even if they're new and always tip. Now we're backpedaling. Shut up. Here we go. I was talking about a stream that I was doing. I said, uh, headphones weren't working, couldn't hear the game, found out later they were just unplugged and the talk was good. She's hitting me that Steam Fest is in two weeks. You're so dumb. Is that any way to treat my loyal, hardworking mods? Like keeping them from lying? Yeah.
How about blowing me? I've run into that a couple times. You bring up my color blindness a lot. A lot of comments about ruining my marriage. Can I say I'm a homewrecker and I only say that when you're mean to me, so really that's just painting yourself in a bad light? Whatever. That's going to be it for me today, ladies and gentlemen. I will say thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed the show today here in Mass Effect. I don't know, we text a lot. I think it was only in like uh, April or May. We'll be back again on Saturday. Some more fun. Uh, looking at Mass Effect again on Saturday as well. Going to finish up Novaria. And then uh, hit up a couple of quests that unlock after we're done with Novaria. Then Vermeer. And a couple quests at the Citadel. And then uh, it'll be the final boss. Unless he's not. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Check us out on social media across Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, and TikTok. This game needs to end. It's getting there. Come on, tell me you're not having fun. I'm having fun. Till next time, though. Peace out, Joe.